I am an immigrant. I am Colombian and it just it's so proud and so and it's like <laughs> it's kind of hard to like voice out my emotions at how proud I feel because it feels like anything is possible for me. It feels like I can even reach to like get up there and you know make a change in the world not just to like make it out for myself but also help others too and like open their doors because I'm lucky enough to be here and to further my education and to be able to reach far up and high into the stars um, and to be able to spread out and give those like other people the opportunity is just it's amazing. It's really shown me that one day it can be me, it can be any one of my female friends and it sh it's shown me that when you work really hard towards advancing racial justice, economic justice, healthcare, fighting for the rights of all Americans including dreamers, that when you work, put in that work and then you run for office, you can win and even though we haven't had the first female president yet, we know now that that's in the making mm -hmm. and that Right now in America, it's not our history in the making, it's her story in the making. It's really inspired me to be more engaged and to really talk to voters in our community, especially young voters who don't really understand the power of the ballot yet. And it's inspired me to reflect on American America's history. It's so nice to finally see that black women in America and other people of color are finally getting the representation that some of us did not see growing up. Growing up, I didn't really get the chance to see much women in power, let alone black women or any women of color. I am a black immigrant woman, so seeing that another woman of color had achieved something that's amazing being the vice president of the united states it gives me hope to like know that i can achieve many other things i can see myself in a position of power and there are really no limits to my success for the past four years i have felt like i was almost suffocating in a way um it was there wasn't a moment that things like hatred didn't stop it felt like it was a continuous line of hatred um every day every week every month um, so that moment where um, we're finally transitioning into a new president um, really felt like uh, a moment that I could finally breathe and um, actually be hopeful that there will be um, more unity in this country moving forward and that things will get better because it didn't feel like that for a long time and, and now it does. It made me feel like no matter who you are, no matter the color of your skin or your gender, that you are um, able to pursue the highest of the high that you want to pursue, no matter the criticism from others or what people say about you, that as long as you just keep your head up and just don't mind what other people say, you can still do what you want to do.